100 firefighters tried to save the store. Got away from us before we really get on top of it. But the flames finally won the battle. It's a very sad thing for every person in this community. At least nine families are now homeless, and businesses on both sides of the street from the fire scene have been forced to shut their doors on a Saturday picture perfect for shopping. Loyola. perfect for shopping. No electricity, no telephone, no water. is in ruins after a five alarm fire tore through the building. Investigators don't yet know what caused last night's fire, but they do know that flames trapped in a tin ceiling suddenly burst through and engulfed the store. As Jesse Gary reports, the effects of the fire could be long lasting. They're still sifting through the pieces in Darby Borough. Main Street's stop and shave still smoldering, but a mass of mangled metal and burnt wood searing flames, a devastating fire, and the topic of conversation the morning after. Yes, it is the talk of the town. <laughs> this location has been a staple since the Roaring Twenties. Residents considered the store's convenience a blessing. It's really convenient for me and them to walk right across the street and go food shopping, and now we gotta go somewhere else. Borough leaders believed what worked in the 20s could jumpstart the historic district in the 90s. This was a starting point, more or less, and things started to 
come back to it. But last night, orange and black colored the sky. At least 200 firefighters tried to save the store. Got away from us before we really get on top of it. But the flames finally won the battle. It's a very sad thing for every person in this community. At least nine families are now homeless, and businesses on both sides of the street from the fire scene have been forced to shut their doors on a Saturday picture perfect for shopping. No electricity, no telephone, no water, nothing. Dentist Pete Patel says some patients were turned to the street to join a crowd of sidewalk statues still stunned by the loss. The store's owner is optimistic about a recovery. It's tough, but you can't dwell on it. You gotta move on. But it will definitely rebuild and, uh, and we'll have a supermarket. But some are watching and wondering whether the borough will regain growth that may have gone up in smoke. In Darby Borough, Jesse Gary, Fox News. The Feltonville crossing guard killed in a crash yesterday.